Look at all of them. They're festering on my scope, so. And they're biting me right now, all of them at once. Tons are around me. So galaxy season is over now, and it is officially summertime, so it's peak nebula season. There's some, some of the best nebula, brightest nebula in the sky out. A long focal length telescope like this, F10, 2000 millimeters, it's not ideal for that kind of stuff. You really want a nice wide refractor. But there's a few beautiful deep sky objects this time of year that favor a, long, a large focal length telescope like the Celestron Edge HD 8 inch one such as M57, the Ring Nebula, Constellation of Lyra, which I'm going to be photographing tonight. I have a couple new um, additions to this setup. You've probably already noticed one of them that's been really helping out a lot, so thank you. And then I have another, I have actually a new camera. I replaced my old Canon Rebel T1i. It's not a dedicated astronomy camera. Don't get excited. It's another, it's another DSLR. It's old to some people, but new to me. It's the Canon EOS 70D. So it has, it's way better than my Canon Rebel T1i's with no, keeping the noise down. And I actually bought it off eBay pre-modified, full spectrum modified. And I couldn't find anyone's like that. It was a really um, great deal. Canon EOS 70D, full spectrum modified, and came with a lot of batteries and things like that. So it was a really great camera. And I'm ar I already got four hours of data on the target that I'm imaging tonight, right, the Ring Nebula. And it's amazing to see the outer edge all red, like tons of hydrogen on the outer edge of the Ring Nebula that I'm picking up in each exposure. Since this target is so bright, basically each exposure almost looks like a final image. It's, it's crazy. I can't wait to get, like, I already have four hours tonight. Hopefully I'll be able to get more than four hours because last night there was, the other night there were some clouds. So hopefully I'll be able to really uh, make an impressive image of this nebula. And there's some, so some faint galaxies around it that I should be able to pick up with a lot of exposure time. So hopefully I'll, I'll be able to pick up on those faint galaxies around the, the nebula as well. It is kind of surprising this telescope being such high focal length. Um, the nebula is very tiny, even with a telescope like this. That's why when you photograph it with wide field scopes, almost it's like a little dot, you can almost see them some stars of the actual constellation in your frame but a telescope like this is kind of neat to see a lot of detail in the uh, ring nebula but tonight's looking like a beautiful clear night all night long so i should be able to get plenty of data on my target tonight and hopefully everything goes to plan so it's about that time for me to finish getting everything set up i'm going to get the rest of the cables on i'm going to get the computer out with the bin method um, get my new camera, attach the telescope, Canon EOS 70D, and just get ready for it to get the sky to get dark, which happens pretty late this time of year, and then I can start up imaging on the ring nebula. Another thing about this DSLR that I really like is that flip out screen. I've never had a camera, DSLR camera with a flip out screen before. And it's just that little extra bit of convenience just adds so much more uh, fun to the imaging session, makes everything go so much more smooth, especially when this is what happened. This scope would be pointed straight up at the zenith, right? And I would have to literally be on my knees, my head on the ground, trying to look up to focus the star, but now, with the flip out screen, everything's just so much easier for focusing, so.
Wednesday, guys, so it's getting really buggy out. The thing about these summer nights is they're really beautiful and warm. You can just sit out here um, and not be freezing to death. But the other thing, the other side of them is, is you know, mosquitoes and all the bugs and stuff like that. But um, luckily, I don't need to be out here too long. I just kind of need to focus the telescope and then go to our target, which, which shouldn't take that long. So everything, everything's set up, camera's attached to the scope, everything's turned on. There's a few wispy clouds lingering in the sky, but I think those should, those should go away. If you can hear the fireworks, 4th of July weekend, so. I, I, I actually like that sound, it brings back a summer vibes. Okay guys, so everything's set up, and here is, um, this is not the first exposure, but here's one of the exposures coming through. So I'm taking 3 minute exposures, ISO 800, and 10 second gap in between them. And here's just a 3 minute sub on the ring nub, it looks really nice, uh, the sensor is keeping that noise down low. and. You might not be able to see it too well, clearly, but I can. I really see that um, a lot of outer detail, um, especially in the hydrogen with this full spectrum mod camera. So imaging sessions is going really well. It's going to be a clear sky all night tonight, so I should be able to get some really good quality data on this target. And I might even finish it up tonight. I'm not sure because it is a bright target, so I shouldn't need that much data on it, right? But um, I want to thank you guys all for watching uh, th this video tonight. Just a little short little upload. I um, wanted to get something out there of me photographing M57, the ring nebula. I hope you enjoy the image at the end of the video. And I am really close to hitting 400 subscribers, so I would really appreciate it if you guys would subscribe because you'll hit that big 400. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. And as always, until next time, clear skies.